Hi everyone, you all know me as Rafin Fernandez. Now most of the times I get this question from many of you. What does your name mean? Now you know many people have nice beautiful meanings to their names. There's Simran, there's Srujan, there's Krishna, there's Minila with such a beautiful meaning. But the story behind my name, well the blunt answer I give to everyone is, it doesn't have one. You see my elder brother's name is Rayston. So I don't know on which wonderful day my parents were wondering, ah, Rayston. Rayston, Rayston, Rayfen. <laughs> so that's how I get my name. And up till recently, <coughs> due to a certain particular TV show that came up, my name has found new meaning. You see, my full name is Rayfen Valerian Fernandez. Wow. <laughs> Those of you who didn't get that, please go and watch Game of Thrones. <laughs> Growing up, I was a very shy and nerdy kid. I don't know, somehow between my younger age till like about 5 to 10 years old, I went out from that confident, if you have heard my P5, you know what I'm talking about, from that zone to the shy nerdy kid Then I had a bunch of friends, uh, who wasn't much into sports, just played a couple of few games, underarm cricket with my cousin at his place. And from what I, my mom keeps telling me is, when I was a little kid, I was a very naughty person. So my favorite target was anything that's kept above my reach. And I should go find the stick, find the cupboard, find the dining table, and sweep everything across whatever's kept up, and it should lead with breaking of lots of glasses on the floor. So that's how I think I like to shatter things that are going on in my life. Going ahead, uh, after I completed my 10th, I went into science. The reason being, I had an elder brother who was very good at studies. And I know you all are knowing where this is going on. Raise your hands if you have elder siblings who are, you are forced to look up to. Forced? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Same here. So my elder brother, his name is Rayston, he was very good at studies. And that's how, where my life went, into the science stream. Following him, looking up to that distinction every time. Hey, he gets, he's getting 85%, why can't you get it? That's how, after 12th, I went joined the science stream and that's where something nice happened. I used to see my brother coding in Pascal, you know, the blue screen, writing the code. That's where my interest into computers peaked in and that's where I decided I too want to do something in the computer stream and that's where I picked up my interest in programming. I reached my 12th standard and there were, that's where I came across my major force or my major rival, math. So Matt told me that science is not meant for you. And it was clear from that on that after 12th, engineering was, wasn't an option for me. But still I wanted to pursue something in computers. That's where the other option that was left for me was bachelor's in computer science. Once I went into bachelor's to do my BCA, uh, the secret to BCA is if you're a science student, BCA is a walk in the park for you. <laughs> so I aced it over there. Uh, it was a good experience for me in college, uh, reaching out, socializing more. Uh, th that was a wonderful experience for me. After that, I went ahead and completed my master's in computer application. From there on, uh, came to Sabre, as, and it's been around three and a half years over here, and enjoying the journey to my fullest. And often I keep wondering what would have happened if I hadn't taken that decision. and hadn't gone for computers, bachelor's in computer application, I wouldn't be here. And that is the best thing that happened to me, I would say. Moving ahead, uh, what I like and what makes me like insignificant me. I love learning new instruments as TM Krishna mentioned. Uh, I remember first trying to play the piano. Of course, I'm not a professional player, but I look forward to learning the flute and the drums. Then over on later, I started picking up a little of, bit of painting and left it away. Uh, I am a big sci-fi movie buff as TM mentioned and something which I do on a regular basis is I game a lot. So that's where TM Sachin keeps mentioning Leifen is a big big gamer. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, there are two motors which I follow in my life. Uh, previous one I remember was the saying common sense is uncommon. Agree? Disagree? Then I'll tell you why. Often we take things for granted, some things that which we know, we often think, okay, this is such a basic thing. Someone else should also be knowing that. A few examples, you know how to use your phones, but your parents or your grandparents, 
and they don't want anyone to look at it. It's very trivial just to even open and press or drag or something wrong. So that's why I believe that common sense is uncommon, uh, wherein things which you feel are very common is not necessarily be known to the others or might be a very trivial thing. Second thing, don't leave anything for regret. Don't say, if only I had done this. Whenever you want to pursue something, you want to achieve something, you want to do something, you want to talk <coughs> about something, just do it. The outcome of this is, if it didn't work out, then you did it, you give it your best shot. What more could you think of it? Rather than waiting down the lines, thinking, oh, if only I had done this, maybe things could have been different. So that's my message I leave for you with all. Don't leave things for regret. Don't be that person saying, if only I had. Thank you, everyone.